Congratulations, first win for the year for the power. Big game as well in showdown, Balfour's showdown 30. Got to be feeling good. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a lot uh, more pleasing, I guess, when you come off the field and the, the team's really uh, played really hard. And uh, I guess for Matty, it's fantastic also for the club. And I guess what happened last night, you know, everybody tipping in some money, getting this place moving and a bit of momentum. Um, first quarter, not too great. You know, it was... Uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, just getting pinned in and uh, uh, lots of turnovers, I guess, in our back half a bit and we couldn't get through their zone. But look, in the second quarter going right through the end of the game, the boys uh, decided to put their head down and work really hard and we started to win the ball, get our fair share of it, get it forward. We went a bit small on the forward line uh, and we're able to just sort of squeeze some goals through and then uh, slowly edge the gap. What did you actually say to them at quarter time? Because we were looking down the barrel of what could have been a fourth loss in a row and it just seemed to turn around from the second quarter onwards. Yeah, Matty was pretty frustrated, I guess, in the first quarter and uh, possibly by the start that we had. Um, we'd freshened them up all week to come out and, and have a fair crack at it early. We didn't get that, but Matty certainly went down really positive. Um, he, he gave them a few home truths, to be honest. Um, looked them all in the eye and said that uh, they certainly need to lift and, and get better. And I, I just think they responded. Uh, also, the you know the four or five changes we made during the week uh, certainly helped us uh, with our structure and the way we want to play. And you know, Matty, the way that he went down there, um, it was certainly a powerful message for them. And, and we got the result in the end. With the the two new dads being uh, yeah. in the side this week, Salapek and Chaplin. Does that have any impact at all upon the, the play that they're able to contribute? Well, sometimes, um, you know, you, you can be... <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> yeah, no, look, sometimes you can, you know, uh, you can either be really tired from, uh, from being a dad during the week, you know, you can be sleeping in the hospital, and it can be certainly different uh, rather than sort of sleeping at home and, and being in your normal routine. But, you know, both uh, Chappie and Sal uh, gave us really good, honest performance tonight. I think uh, Chappie down back was uh, fantastic, about 30 possessions. Sal just gave us a bit of extra run through the middle. Of, and uh, it did pretty well on John Cock Forders, you know. And uh, look, two of them fantastic to have uh, children in the week, but also to come out and, and play in another showdown win. The run and spread this week seemed to be much more evident than it has been in the previous three. Was that something that you really focused on in the lead up to Balfour Showdown 30? Yeah, look, we've been um, really aware that uh, the Crows do sort of get out of stoppage and run pretty hard, so. We wanted to try and control that a little bit by being able to win the ball first and, and get it in our front half and then you stop their spread, they're, they're in a more defensive mode. So that didn't happen in the first quarter, but as the game wore on, the second, the third, the fourth quarter, we were able to get our fair share of the ball from centre bounce and around the ground and we were able to sort of dictate terms a little bit, being able to be in control of the ball there, defending rather than uh, not having the footy. And, and I guess the last two or three weeks, we've had the chase uh, defensively a fair bit and the boys have got that wrong at times and it's worked at times but tonight being able to um, to maintain the ball, maintain possession, get it in our front half certainly uh, stop the Crows from spreading on us. How much difference does it make having players like Hartlett, like uh, Hartlett and Salopec and Bogue and Gray, those more finely skilled players as part of the midfield rotation, does it make a big difference to have players with high levels of skill as opposed to just guts and determination? Well, you've got a bit of both. You've got Broadbent and Thomas who give you, you know, a fair amount of grunt around the footy. D-Rod, an inside player, um, and he's also fantastic outside, I thought. You know, an amazing game up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's second and third, and uh, also his fourth quarter was just fantastic. He's forward pressure and his ability to bring others into the game. Uh, Hartlett, just class, you know. Um, and he he uh, got through the game, which is a real plus. Robbie Gray, who was doubtful. Did some stuff up forward. Lot like Chad Corns worked really hard. Uh, the backs stood tall today. You know, tonight they uh, they, they worked really hard. Um, they stopped the the influence of uh, Tippett and Walker uh, for them. And look, uh, I thought Brogan in the ruck along with Trengrove as well. You know, they just uh, worked really really hard for us. And again, that was going to be the, the biggest thing that we went into the game was to be able to get our fair share of the ball. Beautiful. Thanks for joining us today, Buddha, and awesome to have first win for the year. Yeah, no, great for the club, great for our supporters, and well done, many promise.